Today's video, we're talking about how to avoid dialysis if you're older, younger, or any age, or at least delay the initiation, the time that it takes to start dialysis. Thanks for watching. I'm Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, almost 19 years with a kidney transplant, still have my AV fistula for when I did hemodialysis. We have hundreds of videos on how to help yourself, help your kidney health. So today we're talking about a low protein diet to avoid dialysis or the initiation of dialysis. The last couple of years, especially lately, is a tremendous amount of research coming out on things that you can do to actually improve your kidney health, delay the time to dialysis, or avoid dialysis altogether. And it's just so exciting, all this new research. I'm going to get into a few pieces that just came out recently. And there's a whole shift in the way we're looking at kidney disease, where the old way, I never looked at it this way, but the medical, conventional medical way was let your kidneys fail, go on dialysis. It's a changing attitude of, well, a lot of people may not do as well on dialysis as opposed to managing it conservatively and with diet. And when they start looking at death rates, quality of life, you know, some people will do better using a lower protein diet approach. But regardless, whatever you decide, if you try to avoid dialysis, you need to be on a low protein diet. Let's talk about some of the research. So Journal of Renal Nutrition, July 2023, caring for patients with advanced chronic kidney disease, dietary options and conservative care instead of maintenance dialysis. Journal of Renal Nutrition, June 2023, nutritional and dietary management of chronic kidney disease under conservative and preservative kidney care with out dialysis. Journal of Renal Nutrition, May 2023, effect of non-supplemented low protein diet on the initiation of renal replacement therapy in stage four and five chronic kidney disease. So we've got so many thousands of people now and so many different studies to show that if you do a low protein diet, that's the best way to try to avoid dialysis. Now, I talk a lot about low protein diets in other videos. If you go too low protein, you can become protein deficient. And then you need to take something like essential amino acids acids or keto analogs of essential amino acids to get your protein. But what they found in this one study was that if you use this calculation for your protein per day, the people in the study didn't need to have any of those essential amino acids or the keto analogs. Now they didn't go very low protein, they went moderate. So what they did was 0.5 gram per kilogram of body weight per day in protein. So 0.5 grams per kilogram per body weight of protein. And when you can go lower protein, and especially plant-based lower protein, it's shown to help your kidney health, slow the loss of function, may even gain some function depending where you're at with your kidney health. It helps a lot of the uremic toxin build up. It helps the um, acidosis, uh, a lot of the acid build up. It helps a lot of the heart complications. So you can strive for that 0.5 per day of uh, 0.5 per day of protein per kilogram of body weight. If you want to go lower, you can, which can show more benefits, but it's a little bit more complicated. It's a harder diet to do, but you're going to have to use some of those essential amino acids or keto analogs of essential amino acids. So that's what you want to do. That's the diet you want to follow. There's a lot of other things supplement wise you want to do. Make sure if you're going to do this, you want to take all your medications and drugs. This doesn't work without the medications. Okay. You can't have high blood pressure, but be on the diet and think you're, you know, going to delay dialysis. So thanks for watching everybody. There's hundreds of other videos we have. If you want to know more about these topics, look at our videos about the low protein diet to your best kidney health, everybody. Bye.